How you doing YouTubers? I know there's a lot of you that, like me, wonder if it's worth the money going to a pro saw from like a uh, farm ranch style saw. Also, uh, always curious, wondering if it's worth going to the extra sizes up in the 60, 70, 80 cc range. So I'm gonna do a quick test today I'm not a professional. I'm basically somebody that would be considered like a prosumer. I cut a decent amount of wood, but I'm not a professional. I have my old trusty still <clears throat> 029 Super Farm Boss. I have the uh, Shindawa 488. I know a lot of people aren't familiar with that brand. Uh, Japanese, supposed to be a very high quality, uh, considered pro series type of chainsaws. And I also have the 757. So basically I got ranges from 40 something cc's up to 70 something cc's. The uh, 029 Super Farm Boss has got a 20 inch, the 488 has an 18 inch, and the 757 has a 20 inch. So I'm gonna be cutting through a uh, pine tree that I just dropped and uh, I'm gonna try and time it and see uh, how these saws do in comparison I'm kind of guessing that probably not going to be a big difference between the 488 <clears throat> and the still 029. But I'm really hoping that the 757 is going to uh, beat them both by a pretty good margin. That was the whole reason I bought that saw. actually just picked it up today. So really curious to see how it's going to work. So here I have a 488 Shindawa. 757 Shindawa. That one again's got the 20 inch, the 488's got the 18 inch. One thing I forgot to mention is this is a full chisel on the 757, so I think that'll offer uh, even a little more advantage. The still Farm Boss has a uh, 20 inch. We just had a guy stop by to ground my stumps. He has a still 660. So we're also going to throw that in the test. 